We're on the journey of discovery from Birmingham to Beijing and we're in Dunhuang in China. With me is Hao Main, who is the founder of the China Exploration and Research Society. And we've proudly been carrying the logo of his organization with us all the way from Birmingham to here. Let's find out a little bit more about what he and his organization does. It started 25 years ago when I was working for the National Geographic as a frontline explorer journalist. When I realized everything I start picking up and document it and share with the rest of the world, next time I go around it start disappearing. So I felt that I need to be more proactive and started my own organization to be actively involved in conservation. In those days, you hardly have any paved road. So it's just either dirt road and off road as an explorer. But uh, I have to really balance out by choosing these vehicles, the range, the carrying capacity, angle of approach, departure, durability, a whole lot. And uh, I think uh, in terms of that versatility, uh, Land Rover is definitely my choice vehicle. You know, we work a lot with endangered wildlife. In particular, some of those endangered wildlife themselves are very dangerous, like the wild yak or the Asiatic brown bear. So there were several instances that when we get close enough to film and observe the wild yak that they actually charge at us. And the Land Rover got the traction even in dirt area, sand area, and that, that's out of trouble. Dunhuang can be considered a place where the East meets West. And to be here and welcoming the party coming all the way from the UK uh, to this center point in the desert uh, is just wonderful. And to know that this vehicle behind it is the one millionth one of many of those before that I have used. It's that long heritage. It's just like the long heritage of the Silk Road. 